chaos. And welcome back, everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to this channel, and <laughs> it is Wednesday again. Oh my god, I do love Wednesdays. <laughs> Coming at you with another comic book cover, and uh, yeah, another Wolverine comic book cover. I have lost count as to how many Wolverine comic book covers they have given us so far. Um, it absolutely, I don't even understand why, I mean... I get it that Wolverine was on a lot of covers back then. <laughs> I don't even, I you know, I don't even pay attention enough to know if he's on every cover anymore. But like, in the '90s and 2000s, '80s, '90s and 2000s, you it was harder to find a cover from Marvel that didn't have Wolverine on the cover than did. Um, I actually remember a an issue of uh, the Avengers where you had the shadowy figure of uh, the, the the mask. It just totally looked like, uh, like uh, uh, the, and everybody's like, oh my God, not him. And uh, it just looked like, oh, is Wolverine going to be in this? Oh no, it was Black Panther coming back. <laughs> but it was just like, they didn't even get, do the clickbait covers to try, to try and get people in there because Wolverine sold comics and... Uh, they they would not let up with this and i'm gonna put this guy away and let you know why this one is a little bit different and probably my favorite of the wolverine covers so what is significant about this uh it is the incredible hulk number 181 and it is wolverine's first appearance and uh yeah wolverine first appeared in the incredible hulk they were actually doing a series of uh, stories in uh, the Incredible Hulk at the time, where uh, the where the Hulk was trying to get away from the U.S. government, and uh, he was going to all all over the place. He was going to all kinds of different countries, and every country he would meet a new character. And uh, when he came to Canada, Wolverine's the one that popped out. And uh, it is a bit unique because uh, this is a costume um, he only really wore in comics once. Uh, the, co the, the, the comic book or the, the uh, costume has appeared in the it, since then. Um, usually it's to harken back to Wolverine's original costume. But by his second appearance, he wasn't wearing this anymore. Um, it's got whiskers on the front. Um, they were really kind of pushing the whole uh, look of a Wolverine on him, uh, an actual Wolverine. And uh, yeah, he was the world's first and greatest Canadian superhero. And um, yeah, he didn't stay in Canada very long. <laughs> Though some of his stories have taken him there, he basically immigrated to the United States as soon as he possibly could. Um, it is also the, uh, the Wendigo uh, Wendigo like makes an appearance in here and that's who uh, they basically have a three way fight it's not even like uh, I think you know as far as uh, you know the superheroes team up and uh, you know they fight then they team up and then they fight this was probably one of the shortest things it also kicks off the long standing rivalry between Wolverine and the Hulk I mean for some reason they just love putting these guys against each other um, but, uh, yeah, he's been around for quite a while and, uh, they, <sighs> GameStop, I don't know how GameStop managed to do this. This is a GameStop exclusive. Um, and I'm really amazed that they jumped on this because usually Target is like, bam, on top of every single one of these. Uh, they, they grab up as many covers as they can and, uh, they just pop them out and, uh, yeah, I mean, you'll notice uh, watching the playlist that I have of these things, there are a lot of, I mean, there, there seems to be like a ton more Marvel than there is DC, and that is the case. And I really wish, DC being my my favorite out of the bunch, I really wish I could get some more of these, uh, these DC comic covers, but Marvel is going to town on these. Funko's really enjoying them, and they're, they are really going. And this is actually a significant I issue being uh, Wolverine's first appearance. And uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite of all the Wolverine covers that I have, of which I have many, apparently. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, he he's busting out of chains. They got the chains wrapped around him. That's pretty cool. Um, they've got him in the air. They actually have him on a stand, so that's helpful. Um, like they really went to town on this. Um, they gave him all the strange detail of his very unique costume. Um, it does look like uh, the costume is reverted back to the yellow and blue uh, as far as the neck down goes. But uh, I think that was more of what they actually did. I think they mostly changed the mask. Um, but yeah, this is my Wolverine with whiskers. <laughs> so yeah, that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to have it. And I love the fact that uh, Wolverine's considered an X-Men or an X-Man, whatever. But uh, but really, he started out as a Hulk rival, and they've carried that on ever since. Um, I think even in like the Ultimate Universe, at one point, they literally had the Hulk rip Wolverine in half, like top and bottom, just pulled him apart and tossed him in two different directions. Um, but yeah, they they make sure that. Uh, uh, you get a good Wolverine Hulk battle ever, ever because that's how he started, and that's how they get what they continuously bring back. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here now. Um, don't forget, I think I already mentioned it, that I have a playlist full of these guys, and uh, you can follow along there as I will keep bringing them every Wednesday that I get them. And uh, go ahead and click subscribe if you want to to make sure you don't miss a single one of these. And never forget that life is full of odd moments, and you never know when you're going to be defined.